Disease down and forks up. We are giving you the top cancer fighting foods as we wrap up Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And here in the house with us is the STL Veg Girl. She has some foods that will absolutely help keep cancer away from your body, yeah. which is kind of hard to believe, but not really. You know, it, it's becoming more acceptable, more commonplace as we get, you know, as we learn more about how foods really heal. have, well, can heal and, and can damage our, our bodies, right? So did you know that only five to 10% of breast cancers that are detected are hereditary? Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. alarming. Yeah. So, so if you can't blame mom and dad, who do you, you know, not that we're, we're just not a blame game, right, but I'm right. just saying, what other factors could there be? It's what we're putting inside it's, of our body. It's lifestyle, right? It's alcohol, it's smoking, it's, it's stress, it's all these things, but it's also something that we do several times a day and that is eat. Yeah. So, um, you know, with 230,000 diagnosis every year and 40,000 deaths, let's start eating a little bit better. And yeah. you brought in some foods that will absolutely help us do that. Yeah. Let's start over here with some of the green items. That well, you, you know I have to bring my greens. You have to right? bring your greens. <laughs> so um, obviously the cruciferous vegetables, which we have there, and we've talked about in another show uh, the powerful cancer-fighting properties of sulforaphane, which is found in broccoli. Cut broccoli, so with a chop and stop method. Cut your broccoli, let it stop, or just let it sit for about 40 minutes or so, and sulforaphane, which is a chemical reaction, is created, and it is the one of the most powerful breast cancer fighters. Wow. It's, it's amazing, yeah, yeah. And can so, it only be found in broccoli? Well, it's, it's found in all cruciferous vegetables, but it's mostly concentrated in broccoli and broccoli sprouts. Now, I know that we have, we don't have sprouts here because I could not find them and I didn't have that time okay. to grow them. <laughs> so, so these are just microgreens. Microgreens, hey, we'll take it. But there is definitely um, sulforaphane in those little guys. Nice. Yeah. So we got our yeah. broccoli, we have our broccoli sprouts, yes. cauliflower, and Brussels. And you've talked about mushrooms as well. We know mushrooms have tons of cancer fighting. Oh my gosh. Inside. And especially actually, and it's, it's weird that it really does. It really is concentrated for breast cancer. And, and I mean those, I gotta say these cheapy, cheapy white mushrooms, you don't have to get the fancy ones just to get those regular They'll do their job. mushrooms. Yep. That's right. They will do their job. And how many times have we talked about the dark berries? All the time. So really, I like people to concentrate on the dark berries. However, an apple a day may keep the oncologist away and all the, fi all the fiber, most of the fiber and those, those antioxidants are found in, in, the skin. in the skin. Yes. So eat your skin. Don't peel it off. Go ahead. Eat that skin. Eat that skin. It's so good for you. And people say, you know, why, why wouldn't I just eat all the, like, why wouldn't I have all these supplements instead of like buying all this food and learning how to cook all this food? Eh. Everything is found. It's in, in the, it's in the package itself. Did you know, okay, we know that vitamin C, right, mm -hmm. is a huge antioxidant. And a lot of people eat, you know, have their vitamin C, especially during the, the winter. Did you know that in oranges, there is a concentrated solution in there that actually acts as a chemotherapy. Right. Wow. Not in the supplement, but in, in oranges. The oranges. Yes. And it yes. can only be found in the oranges. Right, yeah, they, they don't put that in the supplement. No. It, it's not possible. So, and then the green tea is liquid gold and it's pumped up in nutrition if you add a little bit of vitamin C. So a little bit of lemon. We'll add some lemon and yeah. then of course onions, shallots, Yep. Avocados. Avocado, your B6, 30% reduction of breast cancer. Eat one a day. Avocado, there's your good news about an avocado. Wow. <laughs> Karen, you're teaching me so much. And then, of course, when you're cooking, you need to season your food. These are just a few seasonings that will help pump up those cancer-fighting properties as well, right? When you are using turmeric, which we all know is a great anti-inflammatory, you can help your body absorb that turmeric and use those anti-inflammatory healing properties by adding a little bit of black pepper. And also, you want some fat in there as well. And I don't do oils, but here is flaxseed. Perfect. Well, we got a lot of things that we can go ahead and incorporate in our diet and even increase in our diet from apples and oranges to berries to broccoli, whatever floats your boat. And you also have an amazing class coming up tonight. Give us those details very quickly. We have a free class tonight. It's a virtual. It's, breast, it's for breast cancer. Anybody who is interested in learning about nutrition and breast cancer, and Dr. Jim Loomis will be there online live to answer your questions. Awesome. Again, breast cancer foods for survival. It's happening at the Center for Plant-Based Living. All that information is on your screen. And of course, we'll post it online on our website at studiostl.tv. Hang in there, St. Louis. We'll be right back after this quick break.